Hello horse, back at it again with another unboxing video. As you can see, the PS5 Slim, physical edition. That's what I have, PS5 Slim. I got it from GameStop, of course. Well, I don't know, but some people know because I sent them a picture that I got it from GameStop. But I got it from GameStop, regular price. I didn't get the Modern Warfare 3 edition or the Spider-Man 2 bundle because I already had those games on this. And I bet y'all wonder why I'm doing another unboxing video on another PlayStation 5. I gave the other one, the original one, away, which will be in the link, uh, the link and description below. I gave that one away to my little brother. So now they got their own very own. Well, not their very own. They both have to share it. You know, this shit is expensive. So uh, they got to share it. So now they got their own set of PS5, I mean, a PlayStation. And I got my own. So now I'm back again with a system. And I just finished my second job which was seasonal. So now I get to be back on that game again. And I just got my MacBook Pro. Yeah, <laughs> the M3 chip, the one that just came out in October 2023. So now I can do some editing and some stuff. So I'm also gonna be doing unboxing on this. And I'm also going to be kind of sort of doing unboxing on this. But I'm also installing this into this while I'm, you know, all in one video. So bear with me, this is my class. I don't really be editing and stuff like that, but I'm about to start learning since I got my MacBook. So I'm gonna unbox this first and then install that later. So we're gonna get straight into it because I really wanna play this bag. Like I got so many games to install and that's full terabyte, that's cheap. If y'all want that one specifically, that was like 237 altogether together with Amazon Prime. Um, the link for that will be in the description below. And also, you're going to need a number one Phillips screwdriver. But don't worry. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to be installing the SSD right now. Right now, the main focus is unboxing. So we're going to focus on the slim and then focus on the memory code. Oh, let me show you the box. <laughs> My bad. So, of course, you got the new design, smaller design. And I'm going to ask, you know, y'all know Harold. Some of y'all do, some of y'all don't. We're going to do a little comparison, too, while we're here. Since he has his original PS5 upstairs, and I have to slim now, so. Um, now, let me open this thing. Give me like a couple of seconds, okay? So, y'all doing good in this early, early 24? Because today is January 2025. That's when I got my slim, which is today, of course. But this video will be out soon, very soon. When it comes to these little tablets, they make it sometimes so hard to open. Oh, there it go. And then it rips, okay? This is where I grab a knife. Because why are you not opening? I need you to open. Alright, so. Oh, also, guys. If y'all don't know, some of y'all know, some of y'all do know. The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered came out last Friday, which was the 19th, I think. Make sure y'all go get that. The, um, this version, I think it's like $50 and some change and if you already have the upgrade i mean if you already have it on this or digital it's like a 10 dollar upgrade but me y'all know i like my games on disc so the 10 dollars for the digital thing wasn't going to be a thing for me when they start forcing everybody to go digitally then i start downloading my games again so all right so all right here we go Boom. So you got a power cord, of course. I think this is the control. Let me lay it flat. I can have this facing y'all. The controller. The controller looks the same. Oh, so this is so since this is the slim, my cousin has the um slim. I seen these. You can use these little things to stand the PS5 up. It doesn't come with that little circular base stand no more. It comes with these things. I guess we're gonna have, we both gonna have to learn how to put these up together at the same time. This is my first Slim, of course, first PS5 Slim. We're gonna put them together later. What does this do with the plastic? Oh. Did I drop this shit in the sink? Oh, did I drop that plastic in the sink? Oh, it's right here. I thought I dropped this little thing in the sink. Like literally inside the sink hole. I thought I dropped it inside the sink hole. All right, let's keep that away because I thought I dropped it inside the sink. But I'm gonna show you the controller again. Of course, the same controller as the original design for the um the original PS5. 
same thing. Ain't much of a difference, so y'all know how it look. All right, so the right side is probably the HDMI cord. Yep, the HDMI cord, the 4K thing. And of course, the controller charger. What the fuck? Oh, snap. We, going, we gotta look at the system because on the original PS5, this part was just the USB type C. And this part was the USB, um, the regular port, USB port. Oh my goodness. Holy shit. I hope I can plug up my um, my external to the thing. We gotta see. But I really have to open this real quick. All right, so now it's time to take out the system. Here we go. I hope I can plug up my, um, my external USB and my headset. Well, I, of course I can plug my headset in. But we gonna we gonna find out. We gonna find out. Now I'm really rushing to how to open this thing. Oh, also, of course, I'm gonna show you how to take the plate. So we're gonna all learn. I watched the video before I um decided to you know try to do it i probably have to watch the video again and then you know put the videos together like at the end or something how to install the ssd but this is the design you got the little slash in the middle you know you got the remote a uh, removable disc tray you can take it off i'm not taking it off because you know once again i like my games on disc so it's no point in me taking it off oh my goodness they all usb type c's i'm about to cry because what the fuck what do i plug my headset in Oh my goodness. So now I gotta plug out my headset in the back because on the original PS5, I can, they had a USB port right here. <laughs> oh my fucking goodness. I think they, if anything, if I don't like this one, even though it's a smaller design, I might have to give this one to my little brothers because they don't use headphones like that or whatever. Oh, I got it all wrong and shit. So this is the right way. And this is where the little stain things go. Um, it might be easy. I guess we can figure out for at least a minute. If I can't plug it in for a minute, then it is what it is. Cause I'm just showing y'all the. Uh... That's crazy, y'all. They really trying to put everything for USB Type C for everything. Like, man. Oh, easy. I guess it goes anywhere. Oh, it's a clip. You got these little mini clips right here. I don't know, you can't really see it like that, but it's like the clips that fit in. You can actually, let me try to show you that real quick. Oh, there you go. It goes right here. I'm gonna just put my hand over this top. I don't want it to fall out. It's not stable right now. I don't want to drop it inside the sink. But yeah, that's how it's supposed to look. And it's supposed to stand like this, like that. But yeah, that's crazy. Because I got three USB ports for the PlayStation 5. One, well, no, nah, that's I actually should be good. I should be good. So one for the headset, which is my Turtle Beach headsets, and one for the external hard drive. I should be good. Okay. I was about to be mad. I was about to be real mad. I was like, oh my goodness. At least you got extra space for the chargers though. But now they're moving everything for USB C cables. But that's crazy. But all right, um, let me just show y'all the PS5 Slim one last time. I might just call him down. I hope he unplugged this PS5 so I can do y'all a little side by side thing on the sizes. I know most people wanted to see the sizes and stuff. And it's less heavier, of course. You know, the slim design is always the less heavier. I think the Pro is supposed to come out this year in November. Sources from Instagram says it's supposed to come out in it's like November around the holiday season, just like this. This originally came out November 10th, the same day Call of Duty came out, but it only came out with the bundle. The, son the console wasn't sold by itself. It was only sold with two bundles, the Call of Duty bundle or Spider-Man bundle. But eventually, some months later, they decided to sell it on its own, which I have now. But now, oh, also, a friend of mine said they might be making a um another bundle with the Slim. I don't know. If you don't see the Modern Warfare 3 bundle with the Slim, no more in stores, 
they're making another bundle with an exclusive. I know Modern Warfare 3 is not exclusive for PlayStation only, but you know, that's how they do. But all right, let's hope for the best that he um took on his PlayStation. This is gonna be a nice little short video. Actually, let me text him. I hope he took it off. All right, while we're waiting for him to do that, we're gonna put this back. So once again, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more videos, cause now, since I have a MacBook, y'all definitely gonna see more gaming videos. My food channel is doing well so far, so that's also gonna be in the description below. Everything else is gonna be coming together slowly, real slowly. Damn, I hate when I unbox something, I forget how to put it back. I hate this shit. They're gonna put it back as nice as possible. Shit. All right, all right, all right. So, wait, I can't put it back. I gotta install the SSD. Anyway, all right, so, catch y'all next time on another unboxing video. And after this part right here, the SSD part and the installation part, it's just gonna be, you know, it's gonna be after this video. And I guess while I do the SSD, I do the comparison at the same time, but I think that's something that says no. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're gonna do a quick little side by side. And while we wait for him, I want y'all to comment on what's your favorite game so far in 2024. Right now, I don't have a favorite game right now, but it might be Tekken 8 because it comes out tomorrow, which is the 26th, and I have the regular edition, of course. If I was picking up the console tomorrow, I would have been showing y'all Tekken, but today is Thursday, so I gotta get used to doing these videos on my own. I'm not used to doing the videos on my own, as y'all can see. Did he do it? Oh yeah, he brought it. Well, actually, I will get it. It's gonna be a short little cut. All right, skipping that cut I just made. So, boom. This is his PlayStation 5, the original, you know. And also, it says Galaxy of Films. That is his friend slash his, well, yeah, that's his friend, and he, damn. Them stairs got me. That was a lot of stairs, but. Galaxy of Films. Here's this guy named Max. He does a lot of podcasts. He plays a few video games, but he does a lot of podcasts. And since I'm showing him his stuff in the video, I also put his link. Oh, shit, I'll put his link. And um, I'll put all his socials in the, in the description too. But yeah, so let's do this side by side really quick. Regular PS5, PS5 Slim. Both of them physical. Maybe I should tell him to come downstairs to um, hold the other one. Look at that. All right, so turn that that way so y'all can see. Boom. From right here, can y'all tell the difference? I don't want to put it over the sink. The sink is right here. Can y'all really tell the difference from right here? It's a little smaller, slimmer as you can see. See how skinny it is? Wait, okay. That's the line. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell the difference. Let me stand in front of it because that white door is not making anything better. Oh, the black shirt not making anything better. All right, fuck it. It is what it is. All right, so y'all saw that one side. Let's turn it this way. Turn the other cheek. Boom. Okay, okay, okay. It's not much of a difference as it looks. Let's see if in the back. Oh, let me show you what I'm talking about. I can find out what I'm talking about. So, of course, when it came to the original PS5, it had a third USB slot. So this time for the Slim, they put the HDMI port up here and moved the HDMI port to the bottom. They kept it. Okay, okay, okay. okay. That's crazy. And this is what I was talking about. I normally have my PlayStation headset plugged up to here. 
So now I don't have to plug it up from the back because it's only two, two USBs. That's a downgrade. What the fuck? So now I'm going to get the Pro anyway because I have the PlayStation 4 Pro. So regardless, it's going to be a temporary PS5. And I'm giving this away too after I'm finished. Somebody already called it. So I'm selling this to them for half price once the Pro come out. So it is what it is. It's only temporarily. So it is. It ain't much of a big difference. But all right. Stay tuned. Once again, stay tuned for another unboxing video. Stay tuned for more gaming videos this year coming up. I'm glad I got my MacBook. I need to do some tweaks to this channel, but y'all gonna see the difference. I don't have to tell you that much, but y'all gonna see the difference of everything if y'all been paying attention. But other than that, we about to sweep. I said sweep. We about to swap to the um installing the SSD. So literally right now. This is the SSD that I'm installing right now. Let me take this out. Well, first things first, let me um show you how to take the plate off. So now make sure the disc tray is facing away from you and you lift up on the top left. Oh, oh yeah, I kind of did it like earlier a little bit, but yeah, as you can see, boom. And this is the part where the SSD going. Make sure that you have a number one Phillips screwdriver so you can take this part out. I think it's what, lefty? It's righty, tidy, lefty, loosey. Yeah, there you go. Wait, oh. Hold on. Oh, my. oh there you go. It's a little tight. Mm. I don't want to be so hard on it, then it's all fucked up. Wait, all right, there you go. It's so tight. <laughs> Is it not coming out? It's not coming out, y'all. It's not coming out, and I just had it. Oh, let me find I need me another screwdriver. <laughs> no SSD for me, it did not work. Oh, I'm about to cry. <laughs> Why isn't that coming out? But I can turn it right, but not left. Oh, ha, <laughs> my, my fault. Don't mind me, y'all. That was an accident. All right, boom. Don't throw this away, please. Do not throw this away. Because you need to screw it back in when you take the SSD out and all that good stuff. Let me see. Lift it from right here. Boom. So right here, this little screw thing right here, you also have to take this out based on the size of the SSD. Make sure y'all also do not throw that away too, but do not drop it anyway, because that thing is really, really small. Same screwdriver as before. All right, that should be good enough. A little bit more. Man, I do more shit. All right, should be. Oh my gosh! Oh. All right, now place that to the side. Now let's get this SSD out. Also, link in description gonna be low. You got scissors. Because after this, I don't really need this box anymore. Not down here, they're upstairs. Oh. I like cutting things open, but yeah. that works too. All right, so now this is SSD. This is what it looks like. That's the name. I think it's called Lexar. That's what it said on the thing. All right, so now you line up this part. I don't know what this. I'm not much of a tech person, but you line up that part. Make sure you hit click when you actually put that thing in. <laughs> That's what she said. That click right there. Now you put the small screw that you just took out back into the place to um, keep the SSD down. And then you screw it back in. Righty tighty, lefty loosey once again. It's gonna be a little complicated. Everything's not perfect on first try, which I know. All right, there you go. Yeah. More space, y'all. More space. Yeah. And make sure it's tight as can. Like, just make sure it's tight as you can. But not too tight, but just tight enough so it won't come out. All right, there you 
it go. It's like my second time doing this. I did this to my original PS5. All right, it's not coming up. Now, the original screw, keep the little, this piece tied in, put that back in, slide it back in. <laughs> Whitey Toddy Lefty Lucy again. We're going to make sure it's real tight like it was before because I was definitely having problems taking it off the first time. All right, there we go. Now putting the plate back on so you hear that snap. Oh, shit. Wait. Oh, there we go. Ha ha. Make sure the lines are lined up with the holes so you can put them on. Oh, wait. Shit! That. There you go. Boom. Installation of the SSD and unboxing video for the PlayStation 5 Slim. Boom. Link in the description will be in below for the one I got particularly. And number one Phillips screwdriver once again. And that's it. That is it. That is all. Make sure y'all stay tuned for the unboxing video. Okay. Um, I'm glad I didn't continue all the way. So now, since it's fully installed, this will pop up on your PlayStation. So let's continue. And I think it will ask you to format it. Yeah. So it will say this. So format. So you can have the full capacity of its space. Boom. And they give you a description. Let me go move further back. Yeah. <laughs> I know this unboxing video long as shit. Oh my goodness. It is what it is. All right, that is it, that is all.